Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a car which is pretty special as you can probably see already. This is an RS3 swapped Mark 7 Golf R. It's a fully forged engine. It's actually a DNW engine, which is uh, the engine which you find in the kind of latter 8V generation and the 8Y. So it's, I think, about a 2020 engine in this car. It's not a Dazza like what you normally see. Fully forged, as I said, um, and it's running uh, a nice hybrid turbo on it as well. We don't know the power exactly, but it'd be running 600 and something. Um, but yeah, I mean, what a machine. It's got carbon ceramics on it as well. And to be honest, visually, it's a bit of a sleeper. When you've got the bonnet down and you hide <laughs> that, <laughs> um, it kind of looks fairly stock. The only thing that you really get from it are the Revo wheels and also the carbon ceramics up front. But yes, very, very much so looking forward to finally filming an RS3 swapped Mark 7 Golf R. I am, of course, joined with the owner, Riley. We'll get him on camera. He can explain basically what he's done to it, because to be honest, most of this he has done himself, which is very impressive. Um, and then we'll go out and experience this RS3 swapped Mark 7 R. Okay, we're joined now with Riley, the owner of the car. Mate, this is an absolute beast. <laughs> absolute weapon. I've been wanting to film uh, a Golf R with one of these engines in it or one of these swaps in it for a long time. It, 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 to be honest, it's a bit of a dream, I suppose you could say, for mine, because it's a great engine, isn't it, really? And yeah, I mean, it's fully, fully done as well, which is very impressive. As I was saying from the intro, I mean, you look at it with the bonnet down, and it will just look like a normal Golf R. <laughs> just a black Golf. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then you open it up and you see this. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to talk about in here. So, I mean, if it's all right to, to give us a bit of a walkthrough, really. Yeah, so, as you say, from the outside, just a black Golf. You, mm. you know, you wouldn't know any different at all. I mean, the brakes are a bit of a giveaway. But, True. you know, yeah. besides that, yeah, just a Golf from the outside. Mm. Um, you know, on the inside, full RS3 swap. Yeah. Um, that's one of the latter revisions of the five cylinder from Audi. Mm -hmm. That's a DNW. I'm not sure if anyone else has put a DNW in a in a Mark 7R. I know one's been put in a Club Sport, uh, yeah. but you know that's a GTI. Fully built DQ500. Obviously DQ500 transfer case, mm -hmm. DQ500 drive shafts because there's no other way to go about it. Um, you know you need all of that stuff to make it work. You can't run. Yeah. Golf R drive shafts or DQ250 transfer case, none, none of that works. It's a completely mm. different setup. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, everything needs to be changed. Yeah, um, yeah four RS3 drivetrain, RS3 ECU, all the coolant lines as well, they all need to be changed. Yeah. Uh, luckily, the Golf R has the auxiliary rads down in the bumper. Yeah. Uh, so, That's you true. you know, same same as the, the RS3, so they, they can be used as well. I mean, other than that, as far as like the fuse box, ABS pump, brake servo, they're all the same. Radiator is swapped out for RS3, the actual main radiator. Aircon condenser, because it's a, it's a flawless car. It's yeah. a fully operating, mm -hmm. you know, car top to bottom. Yeah. So you have to change the condenser as well. So that's RS3, yeah. RS3 rad. The AUX rads are still Golf R. There is slight differences between them and the RS3, the mm -hmm. way the outlets sit. On yeah. the rad, they sit at slightly different angles, but you can bend the coolant hoses round and yeah. you know clamp them on. So you can change them if you want to, but yeah, you, don't, yeah. you know you don't have to. It's something you can revisit at I mean, a later date. It's a date. really extensive list, isn't it? It's not just yeah. stick the engine in and that's it. No, it's um, yeah, it, it is extensive. Obviously, yeah. the bit that scares people is the wiring. Yeah. Um, but you know, wiring it's one of those things you either know how to do it or you don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Luckily, uh, a very very good friend of mine, he done the wiring for me. Um, I helped out on bits and pieces here and there. Another uh, sticky point of the project actually is the front washer bottle relocation. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, because it's normally down here. Yeah, it's normally it? here. Yeah, front yeah. left. Absolute nightmare. It is now in the <laughs> the passenger's wing. <laughs> um, it's all in place. It's all bolted down. It all yeah. works. It's yeah. fine. Um, but I actually plastic welded the tank because mm. it's too fat. It's too wide. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. The RS3 actually has a, they have wider wings. Mm. So I basically cut it in half kind of like shaved it down and then plastic welded it back together <laughs> to get it inside the Golf R wing because yeah. the Golf R wings aren't as wide. Yeah, no, absolutely. And yeah. out of the whole project, you'd think putting engines in cars, gearboxes, yeah. drive, that thing gives me the most <laughs> drama of the lot. Well, it's all but the little things, isn't it? Yeah, you absolute think. nightmare. But it's yeah. in there, it works and... Like yeah, I say, it's a absolutely. it's a fully operating car. Yeah, uh, it's flawless. There's no there's no fault codes, mm -hmm. uh, no lights on the dash. Yeah, everything works. All the subsystem works. All the ACC works. You know, cruise control, everything, winter yeah. pack wipers. Yeah, every, everything, everything works. Yeah. It's you know a, a, a completely flawless car. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's it goes like stink. It yeah. sounds like stink. So. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, we don't know exact figures, do we? Really? No, no. Um, it's uh, it's a myth at the moment. Um, we're probably. It? You know, maybe mid sixes to low yeah. sevens, yeah. something Which like is that. Very impressive. Um, Going back to the engine quickly, because obviously it's fully forged. What, what kind of things, like spec wise, is it that it, it's running internally? <clears throat> the pistons are Wozner, um, mm -hmm. as I, I am sponsored by Wozner. Mm -hmm. um, I have very close relations with them. It's roughly built for about 250 horsepower per cylinder. Yeah. So the engine is capable, you know, of a thousand horsepower plus. Mm -hmm. uh, the cylinder head is completely stock at the moment. Yeah. Um, I have kind of changed my mind through the process of the build about, you know, what turbos I want to run, mm -hmm. what power I want to run. So at the minute there's uh, a Venom Hybrid 700 on there, okay. which that company has now actually ceased trading. Yeah. Even though, you know, their turbos are, you know, fine. It flows well produces you know a lot of power mm. it, you know it, it's nice and strong but i do plan on going full frame uh, okay. precision yeah so we'll run for a thousand horsepower wow. big fuel pumps yeah you know big injectors whatever the 980 cc injectors are on it now yeah um i think i think they will be good enough for the thousand horsepower yeah uh, but we'll see obviously when we get on the dyno Fair play. uh big precision snail yeah tubular <laughs> manifold four inch downpipe all, all the crazy stuff yeah. But yeah, moving um, around a little bit, we've got obviously carbon ceramics, which are very cool, uh, just on the fronts, but they are massive as well, aren't they? Like I said, people are quick to go fast, but they don't want to stop. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Really um, important part of a, yeah, well, you, a big build like this. It's, it's, it's one area of the project I refuse to cut corners on. Yeah. I, I don't cut corners on anything, but you can't have cars like this and not have braking power. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's... For sure. Uh, Exhaust wise as well on the car, was it just a turbo back so it has a miltech downpipe mm -hmm. which the the v-band off the turbo i think is 4.5 inch that drops down to four to three and a half down to three yeah uh and then it's straight through uh three inch i've actually converted it to v-band as well i don't, I don't like these yeah. sleeves and bits and pieces so it's all converted to v-band yeah uh three inch to a miltech back box um and me and my good friend james cox at push performance have cut it open and Done a little bit of a mod in there, and like mm -hmm. I said to you, it sounds like Concorde. <laughs> <laughs> no, which, uh, I cannot wait to yeah, go which out in this thing. Very shortly. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, just a, yeah. a, a Mark 7 Golf R Miltech yeah. back box with black Cerakote tips. Yeah, nice. Uh, and obviously it's valved. But yeah, I mean, what a build. What a build. I am very much so looking forward to, well, going out and experiencing it, really. So I think if that is pretty much everything, we'll get this thing fired up and uh, we'll go have some fun. Yeah, let's jump in. Let's go. Quick and cheap. Yeah, that's definitely 600 plus. That's 100% 600 plus. <laughs> that exhaust tone is so it Sounds good. nuts, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, when it's on boost, I see what you mean, it sounds like a plane. It does. Sounds like a jet engine flying yeah. down the road. That is Even from the outside as well, the boys are like, mate, I've never heard anything like it. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was lighting up all fours. Yeah. <laughs> Those shifts are amazing as well. Oh, you know, I, I don't think I've been in a car with a DQ500 before. They're crazy. Yeah. Crazy. It's like the pinnacle of DSG. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess when you bought this car, it was, it was always the plan to do this. No. It wasn't? <laughs> no. Oh, no way. No, I bought a Golf. I, I've, yeah. I've boosted cars in the past, mm. uh, last 10 years, and I had a bit of a break. I, I had a couple of lunch boxes, yeah. and then I was started getting sweaty palms again. I was on eBay. I was like, oh, this is a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, the Golf R turned up. I was like, nah, I feel like I'm going to chill out. Yeah. Little little stage one remap, whatever, and then a year later, here I am chasing a thousand horsepower. <laughs> so, yeah. Fair play to you. Yeah, Fair it, play it to didn't you. it didn't last. Like I said, Jay, it's the it's the sound that done it for me. Yeah. I love the car, but I, I'm just not a fan of how the yeah. yeah triple eight Gen three sounds. Yeah, you hear a five pot, mm. and you're like, oh, I want that. Mm. You know, anyone can go out and buy an RS three. What are they? You know, forty grand odds. Yeah. It's yeah. not you know, it's not supercar money. Mm. You put your mind to it, the average everyday Joe can go out and buy an RS3 and I thought, yeah. well, that's a little bit boring. You're partially invested into this already. Yeah. You know, so it made sense to put a five bot in, especially as they share the same chassis, they're both NQB. Mm -hmm. So as far as actually the transplant's concerned, it sits straight in. Yeah. There's no fabrication there. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. It's making everything around it work. Yeah. Which is the scary bit for most people. Yeah. You know, as say the wiring, etc. Um, and then you have to deal with the software side of it to make it work. Exactly. It's getting everything talking. You know, there has been yeah. some uh, some coding in the car, mm. like I say, just to get everything working, like the ACC and stuff. The ACC was the thing that was causing me the most the most issue. Yeah. Uh, until I uh, until I met a guy who actually coded it in less than two minutes. Oh, really? Uh, honestly. Wow. Uh, everything worked. All the lights on the dash turned off, and I was yeah. like, wow. The ACC was causing me problems for yeah. quite a while. Okay. <laughs> this turbo does flow really well considering we're running a, a slightly lower ratio as well mm. i mean there's a little bit lag but there's not <laughs> I mean, it's not like you've got to wait till half the rev range no. until it kicks in. It, this car does not sound like a typical five pot. Yeah. It really don't. And people pick up on it all the time. They're like, I've heard RS3s, TTRSs, but they're like, I've mm. never heard anything sound something like that. Mm. Videos do not do justice at all. That's the you thing. You can't that, pick, yeah. you, the way this sounds, you can't pick it up mm. in footage. Yeah. You yeah, just yeah. can't pick up on it. You need to physically hear it in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that tone of the exhaust is... It's different, just, isn't it? Yeah, it's I, different. It's, it's such a weird feeling hearing... In a Golf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know it's right. cliche. It's I, it, I, I get, obvious to say. I get a, a lot of people come up to me and they're just like, they ain't got four pot in it, innit? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> nope. yeah, it's a 1.4. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> and they're like, you tell lies. Yeah, fair play to you. And to be honest, it's probably worth noting as well, you've done a lot of this yourself. Yeah, I built a car. Yeah, yeah, which is I, very impressive. I, I have a, a very, very good friend who helped me put the car together. Uh, mm. He has his own unit as well. Yeah. So I'm very lucky to yeah. to have a friend. So I can't take all the credit. Yeah. Really good guy. Yeah. So done the wiring, all the hardware side of it. You know, we done together. Mm. So yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't have done it without him. Ben, you know who you are. <laughs> no, fair play to you. Yeah, because I mean, this kind of thing is an extreme project to to take on really isn't it's, it it's, it's, it's not uh, again no disrespect to you know all of you car enthusiasts out there i love all of you but it's not for the everyday average joe yeah it's not at all you really yeah. do need to know you know what you're doing mm. especially i mean like the money involved as well is just crazy yeah that's true. you know it's uh, the days of like oh you know that's 500 quid that's 600 quid them days are long gone <laughs> everything's now oh, it's five grand that's 10 grand that's seven it's just like oh my god yeah give me a break please. yeah <laughs> Oh. Pick 
picks up quick, doesn't it? Oh, mate, it's literally... It's violent. Uh, it is. <laughs> it bloody is. You just want to rip your head off everywhere. Yeah. What a car, mate. And to think that you're thinking of going more is... Oh, it's, um, it's crazy. I yeah. Think, I think I'd... I, the, I, I quite like the way it is now. I don't... Mm. It takes the boxes. It does. It's it, it's manageable. I still think it doesn't quite give me that, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want something that really bites yeah. me in the arse, you know? Yeah. Um, so I think that's why I'm chasing that little bit more. I, yeah. I feel I can tame this quite easily. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it is violent to other people. It's quite aggressive, but mm. they're cool. But for Quad myself, bike. yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> uh, but for myself, I do. I I want to argue with something. Yeah. You know, I want to sort of row with the steering wheel a little bit. Yeah. Which no, is absolutely. quite difficult to get from a four-wheel drive. Yeah. I mean, as Front. we've seen, it can light up all fours. It does. It <laughs> does. It does like to skate around a little bit. Mm. Um, we'll see. You never know. I might. I might. I might get to that that four-figure club and and hate it. Yeah. I you want to go back down. I, yeah. You know. But and, yeah. until until I get there, I you know I'm, I I don't, I don't know. So yeah. It's a goal that you you want to set yourself and. Yeah. I, th I think yeah. I think everyone needs to get to the the four-figure yeah. club at some point. I think every car enthusiast has to have a car with four figures. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. But uh, but yeah, no, mate. Thank you so much for for bringing no, it down. It's fine. It's good. So. Uh, yeah. Good to finally meet you yeah, been chatting since last year yeah whatever, for so. sure yeah well when this car was still in build wasn't it yeah it was it was um, on the ramp it yeah. had practically nothing in it yeah no, well, I think I think when yeah. I spoke to you I might have just just sat the engine in place I think yeah I think yeah that rings a bell but yeah mate fair play to you fair play and of course if you do want to learn more about the build you can find all the details linked down below um, but yeah mate thank you so much again it's been a pleasure really good fun um, but that is going to wrap things up for me today I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come